All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the sincere apostles and elders of a great millstone who are my teachers, and peace and salutations to you brothers out there preaching this word in truth and sincerity. This is the brother Yahweh Sap with another lesson, and the title of this one is going to be Soul Food Purity. And the reason that I wanted to do this lesson is because you see a lot of filth and a lot of wickedness going on in this world. And we understand that the end all be all of that these people is going to be death. You know, they're going to be either uh, killed by the missiles. All right. By Jacob's trouble, by famine. All right. There, there's a lot of uh, um, possibilities of them being taken out. And we are as men of Yahweh, Bashim, Shai, and women that that um, fervently believe on these things hey we want to remain innocent from these from that that way whenever Yahweh Shai comes back to judge the world hey we're not we're not caught up in it all right but instead we're caught called up into the chariots you know and we're saved from these things and in order to to cleanse all the filth off of you from this word from this world hey well you have to take heed according to the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai all right and so to start it off, this is going to be the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 9. And it reads, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. So if you want to if you want to cleanse yourself from the filth of this world, hey, well, you have to take heed according to the heavenly father's word. All right. You want to wash yourself, make you clean. All right. And you want to do the things that are going to be pertaining unto life and not unto death, meaning that you're not going to want to be out there stealing. All right, you're not going to want to be out there murdering nobody. All right, you don't want to be lying on, on anyone. All right, but you want to remain truthful unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, because you have a lot of guys out there that believe, you know, and brothers have been going into this, but you, if you believe that you're righteous just because another man tells you that, you know, hey, well, then you you really, you're not, you're not going things about the right way because you want to you don't want to measure yourself according to what another man says you want to measure yourself according to what the scriptures say you know and how the scriptures say to be man all right because ultimately we all come short of the glory of the heavenly father you know we all we all sin we all go off but there is a way that we can return back unto the heavenly father all right and so uh from here this is going to be the first the book of first john chapter 2 and verse 1 my little children these things I write i unto you that ye sin not so don't go off man don't be out there eating pork man all right don't be out there committing adultery bro leave that man's wife alone all right and it says and if any man sin we have an advocate with the father yahweh shai hamashiach the righteous that's right so if we do sin if we do happen to go off or we do happen to make a mistake hey well now we have yahweh shai to turn unto all right and ask him to pray unto the heavenly father to 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 forgive us or right, we pray to yahweh by hashem yahweh shai we pray unto yahweh in the name of yahweh shai our messiah the one who the world ignorantly calls jesus christ because in the hebrew his name is yahweh shai yah meaning he yahweh shai meaning saves or delivers <clears throat> all right same and, and with yahweh yah meaning he yahweh meaning is or exists okay and so these are the true names that you want to be returning unto and calling upon for forgiveness and that he he restores you into the right state of mind all right because you have a lot of jake out there that believe themselves just because they know the truth they believe themselves to be righteous and they'll get to a certain point of growth and then they'll stop and then they'll start comparing other brothers to them you know to themselves you know turning themselves into the uh, into the measure of what righteousness is all right and that's you know you know you don't want to be in that state but you want to be in a state of of continually you know serving the heavenly father yahweh through his son yahweh shai that way whenever yahweh shai returns we don't take part of that harsh judgment that's going to come upon the rest of the world you know because when you get into that word purity it means freedom from moral contamination sinlessness innocence righteousness chastity so ultimately we want to remain innocent in the sight of the heavenly father and well how do you do that well you take heed according to his word you show forth your love towards him all right first john chapter 5 and verse 3 for this is the love of god that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous that's right we have to follow the heavenly father because life belongs unto him <clears throat> the book of psalms chapter 36 and verse 9 for with thee is the fountain of life in thy light shall we see light 
you know so if you want to see light if you want to experience the 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 way of life hey well you have to take heed unto the one that gave life all right who is yahweh all right and now through through our sins and through our transgressions you know we were cast off <clears throat> our heritage was taken from us all right and we were as a no people but now through yahweh shai we are being grafted back in john john 14 and 6 no man cometh unto the father but by me i am the way the truth and the life you know and that's you know roughly paraphrasing and that's talking about yahweh shai all right because we now uh yeah it's like you but Yahweh Shai was given for a sacrifice at, for our sins. That way, if we do go off as we just read, well, now are we able to be forgiven? All right, because one point in time, man, you know, the Heavenly Father, he, he wasn't dealing with us, man. He was actually really, really angry with us. And the reason for that being is because our, our nation wasn't remaining innocent. They were they were transgressing the law. All right, whether that was by idolatry, all right, uh, uh, by adultery, all right, whether lying or stealing, whatever they were doing, you know, the, it was causing the, ang the, the anger of the Heavenly Father to rest upon us. All right. And so uh, this is going to be the book of Isaiah, chapter one and verse 16 wash you make you clean put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes cease to do evil that's right if you hear this word and you know that you're up to some fuck shit hey well well if it, if the spirit be on you hey well then you you will repent <clears throat> and that's what we want we want to be able to to hear this word and return back unto the heavenly father that way we may be able to obtain the kingdom of incorruptibleness you know and we first have to put off this corruptible body you know first first corinthians 15 flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of yahweh by shimei Shai. and the reason for that being is because we see that this this body you know it's corruptible you know we have all we don't even control our own thoughts all right, and the scriptures say that even the thought of foolishness is sin, you know. So even even within our own thoughts, we go off and we commit sin. And for you to say that you don't do those things, for you to for you to say that that you are are righteous all the way because you keep the law, hey, well then you not only are a liar, you know, but you're you're false. All right, and the heavenly Father does not dwell in you because we all come short of the glory of the heavenly Father. All right. And so it says, verse 17, learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, fatherless, plead for the widow. And that's what we're doing, man. We're learning to do well. We're seeking judgment. All right. Because how do you how do you obtain <clears throat> how do you obtain wisdom to be able to judge the book of Proverbs, chapter two and verse six? For Yahweh giveth wisdom out of his mouth coming cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints. So if you want to understand judgment, you want to understand how to handle these situations. Hey, well, you have to take heed. You have to you have to read, man. You have to get into the scriptures. You know, don't be afraid to roll up your sleeves and, and get down to the nitty and gritty with this word, man. That's what it's going to take. You know, for you to, to for you to properly understand, you got to get into the history. All right. You got you got to read. You got to uh, 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 line upon line, precept upon precept. All right. And for the ones that are doing that, hey, well, you see, you're growing in the spirit. All right. You're you're waxing stronger and stronger as to the ones who are not doing that. Hey, well, we see they're being exposed. All right. The, the heavenly father is kicking them out. All right. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all things are being made manifest. All right, the the uh, the intents, <clears throat> excuse me, the the intents of the heart are starting to be are starting to be um, made manifest, you know. And if you have a pure heart, hey, well then it's gonna be made known. Okay, this guy, you know, he believes he he has faith in the heavenly father because why not only is he saying that he has faith but we see you know he's putting up lessons all right he's going out into the highways and hedges bidding them to the marriage all right when he's walking in his life you know he's not out there committing adultery all right he's not only walking he's not only talking this talk but he's walking it as well and that's the spirit <clears throat> that we all should strive to be in so it says verse 18 come now and let us reason together say the howl though your sins be as scarlet they shall be as white as snow though they be red like crimson they shall be as wool if ye be willing and obedient 
ye shall eat the good of the land. So if you are willing and obedient, hey, well, then you shall long enjoy the work of your hands. As it tells you in Isaiah 66, the elect, which we're striving to be, are going to long enjoy the work of their hands. Which what is that work? You know, uh, out there bidding, bidding them to the marriage, putting in work, man, uh, uh, exhorting brothers, comforting them in the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, teaching the nation of Israel the law, statutes, commandments, because this is what is commanded unto us. And you can uh, go to that in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4. All right, and what did Yahweh Shai tell us to do? All right, Matthew chapter 22 and verse 35. Then one of them, one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? So this lawyer was trying to tempt the heavenly. Uh, it's like you almost misspoke, but this lawyer was tempting the the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, and pretty much trying to get him to slip up. Like, well, you know, if, if you're preaching, you know, repentance, if you're preaching to return unto the heavenly father, you know, and you're saying that, you know, pretty much you're saying that we're not, you know, we're not uh, righteous because, because, uh, you know, whatever they were saying, you know, uh, it says, which is a great commandment in the law. And this is what Yahweh Shai said. So verse 37, Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou shalt love Yahweh thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. And we read, you know, that to, to love the Heavenly Father is the keeping of the commandments. For that is the love of God because you're following the ways of life, man. You know, you're following after the ways, you know, the instructions that were handed down from the heavens on how to walk and operate upon the planet Earth. You know, and walk in the right way. These the, these laws that were given unto us is called the royal law. <clears throat> it was given from the heavens, and through that, are we able to understand how to handle situations upon the planet? All right, and now, of course, it's all through the spirit now, because ultimately, we're not going to be saved by our works, but our works do show forth our faith, and that is how you remain innocent, is by taking heed. All right, because if you're doing the things that are pleasing unto the heavenly father, you know, why, why is there a reason for him to, to cast you off? You know, even though you were, even though you were wicked, even though you were going off, all right, even though you were sinning, you know, you're no longer doing that and you're striving every day to avoid, you know, anger in the most high. So why, so why wouldn't he uh, draw near unto you? You know, it tells you in the book of, I believe it's the book of James, you know, draw near unto the heavenly father and he shall draw nigh unto you. All right, because ultimately pertaining to the book of Ezekiel, you know, the, the most high doesn't have any pleasure in our death. You know, Ezekiel 18 and uh, verse. I'm going to start at verse 30. It says, therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, every one according to his ways, saith the Lord Yahweh. You know, so whatever you're doing, hey, well, that's what the Lord is going to judge you to judge you according to because if you are out there committing wickedness you know you're you're out there eating pork man you you out there committing adultery especially if you know you're an israelite and, and, and you have this knowledge hey well then that goes to show that you really don't have faith because you don't have the fear of the heavenly father within you so of course the lord is going to judge you according to what you're doing all right and so it says repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions so iniquity shall not be a ruin all right, because ultimately, you know, it's sin that's within us that is causing us to to be punished and to be put to death. But if you are striving for the mastery of of not sinning and you're pu you're purifying yourself in the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai, and you're you're taking heed unto what the what the scriptures say, you know, within well you know, even though you might catch judgment, you know, every now and then, ultimately the the our our expectation, our hopeful expectation, is to be saved. Because that what was that is what is promised unto us. And so it says, verse 31, cast away from you all your transgressions whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? That's right. Why will ye die? You know, you're out you're out here lying to everybody. All right, you're saying you're doing one thing and then you get caught doing another. And what's the point of that? You know, you 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 trying to get over on men, trying to trying to rule over them. You know, what what good is that going to do you in the day of judgment? Whenever Yahweh Shai returns and judges you according to your way, what what, what is that going to do for you? Not shit. It's going to get you killed if you out here committing, committing, purposely committing sin. And even for the ones who don't know, 
You know, even for the ones who don't know that they're committing sin, hey, well, then it just wasn't written for them to understand. You know, but that's getting into something, you know, that that that's getting into another lesson. But pretty much you want to remain away from those things. You want to eschew evil, you know, and if you see someone and they're ignorant, hey, well, you got to warn them. All right. Hey, hey, you, hey, brother, you know, you're doing this. The scriptures say not to do that. You know, and it, and if that brother's sincere or that sister is sincere, hey, well, then they're, they'll correct themselves, they'll, you know, salak you. You know, uh, and they'll pray into the Heavenly Father for forgiveness and then they'll move forward. And you are supposed to forgive them according to what the scriptures say. Hey, you got to forgive that brother or that sister, man. You know, it doesn't matter what they were saying. As long as they weren't blaspheming the Heavenly Father and his son and the Holy Spirit, you know, they if they're an Israelite, they have a way back unto the Heavenly Father. All right. And <clears throat> um, you got to judge according to the spirit, not according to the flesh. All right. And at the end of the day, you know, we're all hoping to be saved. So if you restore that brother, hey, well, then that's that's a benefit unto you. So it says, <clears throat> verse 32, for I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord Yahweh. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye and turn yourselves unto what? Unto the heavenly father and his son Yahweh Shai and unto the law, statutes, and commandments, because these are the ways of life. All right, this is how we're going to get saved. This is how we're going to be be uh, um, turned into into uh, righteous beings. All right, is by first rehearsing those acts. All right, so from here, I want to end it off on the book of Revelation, chapter seven, and verse fourteen. I'm gonna start a few. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a few uh, verses up. I'm gonna start at verse twelve. No, Salaki. I'm gonna start at verse thirteen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me. These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb. So in order to wash your robe, which which is symbolic for your spirit, hey, well, you have to make them white in the blood of the lamb. And how do you make them white by the blood of the lamb? By taking heed according to the word, by serving Yahweh by Shemi Shai in truth and sincerity. All right. And doing things that are pertaining unto life and not unto death. All right, which the things that pertain unto life are the are the law, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly Father, and we'll actually end it off on that. Deuteronomy chapter four, <clears throat> and uh, this is uh this is all good. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna get right to the point, man. Verse nine: Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons, especially the day that thou stoodest before Yahweh thy power in Horeb, when Yahweh said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon on the earth and that they may teach their children and so the heavenly father gave us these laws statutes and commandments all right to teach unto our people unto our children and our children are supposed to teach unto their children all right that we may fear the heavenly father we may reverence him hey and live according to the way of life all right because it tells you in the book uh you know it tells you a few verses up you know that the the laws that he gives us are the laws of life you know we have to follow them that way we may live all right you you can see it in verse one now therefore hearken o israel unto the statutes and unto the judgments which i teach you for to do them that ye may live and go in and possess the land which yahweh the lord yahweh of your fathers giveth you you know so ultimately you know we have to put in work all right and that's what shows forth our faith all right, and the the more work we put in, the more work we put in, hey, the, well, the the more faith it shows that you have. All right, and if you are are feeling that you don't have enough faith to be saved, well, pray that the heavenly Father gives you that faith and that He increases your workmanship. That way, whenever the the day of judgment comes, you're in a state of purity and a state of innocence, and you're raised up onto that chariot. Yahweh we're not only called but we're chosen. And so, with that being said, man, I pray that this lesson was edifying and uplifting of the spirit. And once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, until the next time I say, Shalom.